evil plans of Queen Crystal have been foiled, and they have taken a terrible toll on her beauty. Meanwhile, Jack risked his life to fight Gelfi the sea monster to wake Snow White from the Queen's spell. Although Snow White is free during the day, after sunset she becomes frozen, and the seven dwarves are powerless to help her. to get rid of my body. I must be beautiful forever. There's only one way I must unite my soul with the body of Snow White once and for all. Then I will be the most beautiful woman in all the kingdom. Tell me, Magic Mirror, where is Snow White? I'm sorry, my queen. I cannot see it. Why not? A corpse cannot disappear. I saw her lose consciousness with my own eyes. That face is familiar. I've seen it somewhere. Is it... It's that dwarf. No doubt about it. He must have done something. Oh, he must be stopped. Snow White, please stop hanging the laundry. We'll take mm. care of it. You need to rest. Uh, I must do what I can while it is still daytime out and I can move about. Even if I am pretty tired, I just have to keep going. Isn't that true, Milk? <coughs> I don't think a dog and a cat know what's best for you, Snow White. You need to rest. Huh? It looks like somebody's coming. Who is it? I don't know. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Charlie! Charlie! Gabby? Ah, oh, it's you! <laughs> Charlie? Why don't you show me what you're made of? You asked for it! Ha! Ah! <laughs> Be careful, Jolly! Huh? Ah! Ah! Patty cake, patty cake! <laughs> <laughs> Gobby, what a surprise! What are you doing here? Oh, we well. wanted to pay a visit to you guys and to the Princess Snow White. So here we are. Oh. Prince Gobby! Mamo! Jolly and Snow White met Prince Gobby and Mamo in the Land of Goblins during Jolly's long educational trip. Oh, a prince from the Mysterious Kingdom. Yes, this is Prince Gobby from the Goblin Kingdom. And this is Mamol. Isn't she pretty? Oh, you are so kind. We didn't mean to cause you and the princess so much trouble. Sorry if we did. Right, Gobby? Hmm. I don't like to talk about the past. Hmm, I can see you don't. You haven't apologized yet, have you? Huh? Oh, I don't know what you mean. Okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I didn't hear that. I said sorry. I can't hear you. I said I'm sorry. So have you two set the date for your wedding yet? Oh, uh, look, they're blushing. Have the two of you set a date for the ceremony yet? We've thought about a few, but we haven't fixed one yet. Why is that? Because my mole insists on calling me Prince. But you are my Prince. There you go. I'm sorry if that offends you. Mm-hmm. Dear? Do you want to get married or not? Oh, don't yell. It's obvious you're in love. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I actually thought that, well... It makes no difference what you call each other. The important thing is that you care for one another and huh? that you're huh? in love. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Snow White. Huh? <gasps> Uh, Snow White! So then it's true, Snow White is a woman more dead than alive. How dare you talk about her like that? She's not dead, she's sleeping. Oh, don't get yourself all worked up. 
Besides, she's only in this mess because the seven of you weren't even able to protect her! Cowardly dwarfs! Prince Gobby! about us, so why don't you just go away? How dare you insult us in our own home? You have no class at all. Get out of here and never come back. Nobody tells me when to leave. I'm leaving. Prince Gobby, wait for me. Forgive us. Gobby didn't mean what he said. Sometimes he loses his temper. Oh. We're sleeping at my aunt's place tonight. She lives in Sunset Valley. We'll come back some other time. Jolly, Goldie, why did you behave like that? They only came out of concern for Snow White's well-being. I know, I'm sorry about that. But you heard the way they were talking about her. I've never huh? liked the goblins. I'll never understand why they have to be so mean-spirited and stingy. If what you say were true, they wouldn't have come all the way here, and they wouldn't have brought flowers. There's something else about these flowers. They're also incredibly useful for medicinal reasons. This type is incredibly rare. You can only find them in the southern reaches of our land. Poor Mamol. When she and Gobby left, she looked so sad. I hope she's okay. They were tired and hungry, and we sent them away. I feel terrible. Who knows how many miles they walked? Mm. I don't care how many miles they walked to get here. Oh, Goldie, are you serious? What do you think? Oh. That oh. Goldie knows he's made a mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I overreacted. Gobby's my friend. I shouldn't have done that. Sometimes I think my head's made of wood. Stupid dwarves didn't listen to a thing I had to say. I don't see how it's possible for dwarves and goblins to ever be friends. Uh, Prince Gobby. No, I won't hear it. I traveled all this way, and for what? To be ignored? I don't think so. Look me in the eye and tell me that your feet don't hurt. Uh, oh, Mamol, are you all right? Yeah, I'm really okay, thanks. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, but it's just that those dwarfs are all so careless. <laughs> I'm sure you can remember a time when Jolly would have done anything necessary to save his princess, Snow White. He would risk his own life no matter what to save Snow White. And Goldie and the others would have done the same thing for Snow White. Therefore, we can't think that the dwarves would have been so careless as to allow Snow White to be poisoned. Hmm. I suppose you're right, Mamol. Huh! You know what? You're right. I am a fool. What do you think I should do to make it up to everybody? It seems that Snow White can move about normally during uh, the day, right? Yes. If the night were as bright as the day, maybe she'd move normally at night, too. But how do you suppose we do that? Oh. Uh <laughs> but of course, I'll use my magic lightning sword. The sword would help? Yes, the magic in the lightning sword is exactly what we need right now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Why did you suddenly stop? Maybe we should wait until tomorrow. You do look awfully tired. Prince Gobby, you should go on alone. You have an important mission to accomplish. I don't want to slow you down, and I'm afraid I might. Besides, I think I just came up with a great idea. You have an idea, Mamol? You'll understand. I'll wait for you in Sundown Valley. But, uh... Don't worry, Gobby. I'm still gonna go see my aunt soon. I'll meet you there, but Mamol, be very careful. You too, Prince Gobby. Hmm. Now you be careful out there! I promise you that I'll take care, but please stop calling me Prince! <gasps> I didn't...
didn't see you there. I wanted to apologize. I behaved foolishly earlier, and I'm sorry. Forgive me. <gasps> we should be the ones apologizing to you. The prince shouldn't have lost his temper. You really care about him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, hop on my back, and I'll give you a ride back to the cottage, because tonight you're staying with us. Thank you. I appreciate the offer, but I have to go see my aunt. I don't know if you know that she's very good with medical herbs. And so I took her to Sunset Valley, passing through rivers and walking over the hills. What's it like in the land of the goblins? Well, I have to admit that even though the houses are rather small and simple, I have to admit that I really started to admire them. Our relationship with the goblin community has never been particularly good, but hearing you speak of your visit to their kingdom really makes me think. Perhaps it's time to settle our differences. Tell us, Goldie. What was it like meeting Mamol's aunt? Yes, ever since we met Mamol, I've been very curious about her family. Hmm. Well, when I met her, she looked a bit like some kind of magician, so I was a little intimidated. But her name was a me ma mu ma Was it Mamula? Yes, yes, that's it, Mamula. I had no idea that you know her too, boss. No, yes, I met her when I was a young lad. Well, enough chatter. I'm going to bed. But it's early. I think boss is hiding something. I think you may be right. I have that feeling too. Come on, boss, spit it out. I have nothing to say. It's late. Time to go to bed. Memula the Goblin. Hmm, the goblins are the only ones capable of beating the dwarves. We should try to make a deal with them. If I knew some of their secrets, I could blackmail them. Oh. Oh. Huh? Ah, that's it! That's for sure. Aunt, I don't understand what you're talking about. Ronnie will certainly be back. And who's that? No doubt about it. I am positive. Who is this Ronnie? An evil being that appears as a purple fog. 300 years ago, all the goblins were nearly wiped out trying to defeat him. I am sure he will be back to kill us. Listen to me, villagers. Leave your homes. We must seek shelter in the dwarf's forest as we are threatened by a terrible danger. Huh? Come on, we gotta go. Oh, We've gotta get out no, of here. No, no. We gotta go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry. 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 monster talk again. I just, oh, I don't there. know what to Wait. think anymore. Oh, I'm busy. Oh. I can't. Oh, oh we made it. Memol, hurry. Come with okay. me. <gasps> A dead frog, one lizard, turtle blood, locks of hair from seven maidens. Fine, everything is ready. Listen to me, Ronnie, and wake up. Queen Crystal is ordering you, hear the command. Come to attention and kneel at my feet. broken the spell that has imprisoned me for 300 years. I am at your command, my queen. That's excellent, Ronnie. I want all the dwarves dead. And I want Snow White's body returned to me untouched. Listen well, I will not tolerate failure. You can trust me. However, I ask that I may first settle a little matter with the goblins. Do as you wish, but under one condition that you accomplish the mission I've given you. Without a single mistake. Yes, your highness. Hurry, go now. The goblins are in the valley. And do not forget my orders. <laughs> Snow White's body will soon be mine. <laughs> Not here! Where are all the goblins? Oh, 
I smell them. They must be in the forest. No! Ah! Ah! What do you What's think this? is going on up oh. there? The wicked being is trying to enter the forest. This must be the work of the wicked queen. Who knows? It could be, but what's all this noise? It's over. No, my friend. I'm afraid this is only the beginning. But the terrible noise is over. We must be forever vigilant. Always on the lookout. Ronnie will return. But the forest spell is stronger than his evil power. This is our only way out. By tomorrow morning, my greatest wish will have come true. Tonight, the fog will cover the roofs of the... <gasps> oh, Ronnie, why are you here? You startled me. Please forgive me, my queen. The goblins have fled into the woods, and a strange rainbow-colored light is blocking me from getting to them. My deepest apologies, your highness. The fog that protects the dwarves. I have an idea. Get into this bottle. Bat, come here! I need you to help me with something. Go to the dwarves' forest, and above it, break this bottle. Go on. Oh, at last I can rest. Now what do you want? You mean you still can't open a window? <laughs> it was this big! Where are you going? I want some water. So do I. Me too. Children, children, you cannot leave. But I'm thirsty. I need water. I'm children, I said no. Why can't this we just no have something fun? to drink? I'm thirsty. Hmm. I don't get it. I feel uneasy, just like I did 300 years ago. Everything I know tells me we should be safe here in the Dwarf's Forest. So why do I still have this foreboding feeling? ask my aunt to heal Snow White. Huh? <laughs> <gasps> oh my goodness, what's going on? Long last, I will have my revenge. Those goblins will pay for what they have done. I have waited 300 years, and finally the time has come for you and the little dwarves. Ronnie entered the forest, but the dwarves and their beloved Snow White did not see him. Meanwhile, our friends are in great danger. The Wicked Queen is getting older and older. <laughs> 